If you want more views on your YouTube shorts, you need better retention. So I'm going to give you 37 tips to take your retention over 100% and boost another analytic that you're probably ignoring. And honestly, if you've heard of all 37 of these tips, you can hit the dislike button. Start by making your videos a little brighter. By simply upping the brightness in your editing software, you can stand out from other dull looking shorts in the feed. You can make this even more effective by adding a simple vignette effect around the edges of the footage which subtly pushes the viewer's focus towards the middle of the screen, making it much easier to focus on you or your subject. You could also try to include lots of bright colours. Using bold tones in your background, with the clothes you wear, and with any text that you add on screen, can also help to grab attention in the first few seconds, which is actually extremely important. In fact, the first eight seconds of your video is known as the hook, because this is when you literally need to hook the audience into watching the rest of your video. You should be switching up your camera angles or shots every one to three seconds, especially in this first part. But even if you can't film multiple angles, you can still make your edits much more dynamic by adding stock footage. Having access to a stock footage library also helps to add extra context to your shorts. And by using Veed, you can access stock footage directly within the editing software. Link below. You should also add camera movement whenever you can, whether it's crash zooms to focus on a certain detail or just a slow pan on a still image. Even something as simple as a Ken Burns effect can make a boring image look much more interesting. But visuals and effects are pretty useless if your actual content isn't very engaging. Try opening up your script with an irresistible question or a concept so crazy that people have to watch on. So instead of starting your short by saying, I went fishing today, start it like this instead. You won't believe what I caught in this lake. Putting questions into your viewers' minds is the best way to start. And you can do this with almost any topic. If you start your short with a statement like, YouTube's new algorithm sucks, your viewers are instantly going to be asking themselves, what is YouTube's new algorithm and why is it so bad? This again creates curiosity and engages your viewer to carry on watching and find out the answers. Foreshadowing is another really effective way to hook in your viewers by literally showing them what's about to happen. Open your short by showing a mind-blowing clip from later on in the video. You could even blur it out to create some more mystery. And just because you've convinced someone to start watching at the beginning of your video, that doesn't mean they're going to stick around for the whole thing. You need to constantly convince your viewers to carry on watching. And you can do this by creating multiple hooks. Make a delicious hook sandwich. Halfway through, you could try interrupting the flow of your short by saying something like, and you'll never guess what happened next. This creates yet another unanswered question and another reason to carry on watching. And if you don't have a great hook idea for the start of your video, then try removing your intro altogether. If your script still makes sense by jumping straight into the main content, then that's what you should do. Don't introduce yourself, don't welcome people to the channel, just get straight into it. And the same goes with your outro. Where possible, don't even add a call to action. Don't ask people to subscribe. Just finish the video as soon as possible without sounding like you're wrapping up. But the very best way to structure your intro and outro is by using a looping effect. In fact, structuring my shorts in this way has given me a retention of over 100%. And here's how you do it. Just watch the intro of this short. 351 days to get my first YouTube paycheck. And if we fast forward to the outro, look what it does. And my final revenue total was $121, which took me 350. See how it loops right back round to the start in a seamless way. So with a bit of forward planning and some good script writing, this can be a really great way to boost your attention and get an extra view at the same time. And when it comes to writing and planning your shorts in general, be brutal. Cut down everything to the bare essentials, read through your script multiple times and get rid of anything that's not necessary. Every line, every word should be adding to the experience. Get rid of anything that doesn't push the story forwards. And you should do the exact same thing with your editing. Watch through your edit multiple times and see if you can get rid of anything else without losing any quality, even if it's just one second. But not everything has to be at a thousand miles an hour. In fact, a sudden change in pace is a great way to keep your video engaging. Just because you have a really fast paced intro doesn't mean you never want to slow down in certain moments. Try to vary your delivery and stop yourself becoming too monotone or boring. Next, add text. You can use on-screen text to add more context throughout your video. You could also add titles at the start or in a border 
above your video, the right text is almost like a silent hook. But the most essential text to add is subtitles. Subtitles make it possible for your shorts to be enjoyed even on mute. So especially in those first eight seconds, you want to add some bold, colorful captions to let people know exactly what is happening. And you can add subtitles automatically using Veed. You can even stand out from the competition even more by using one of the animated presets, which just takes your captions to the next level. But you also need to be very careful about where you place your text on screen. A big mistake I see is when people add text right down at the bottom of their short, where this area is often covered by the video title. Other parts of the frame are also covered by the icons over on the right hand side. So make sure you place your text a little higher up, a little near the middle of the frame so it's always visible. And remember, your shorts are going to be watched on mobile. So always make sure that your text is big enough and your font is clear enough to be read on a small screen. Tiny subtitles are no good. But text is just as important behind the scenes. Everybody knows that you should add keywords to the title and description of your normal uploads. But you should also do this for your shorts as well. Filling your description with related keywords gives YouTube more information about your video. So then they can recommend it to the right people who are more likely to watch more of your short. You should also add tags or more importantly, hashtags to your uploads. It might just help get your videos to the right people, which will lead to better retention. Now, check out this short right here. You can see that there's a progress bar on screen showing how far you are through the video. This is a technique that's often used by creators in longer videos as well because it can help to engage your viewers by creating a psychological reason to carry on watching. You could also add a timer effect to certain points within the video. This can help to build some tension or anticipation for a specific moment. And once again, you can add something like this really easily by using Veed. You can also keep people watching by using the right video structure. Shorts are just another form of storytelling, so your videos need to have a beginning, middle and end while also delivering value. Introduce a problem or question at the start, but don't resolve it right away. Keep upping the stakes. Even a simple challenge video like this follows that philosophy. The concept here is just two guys racing and you want to know who will win, but the obstacles get bigger and bigger, introducing more problems as they go, and you keep watching because you want to know who will win. It's simple storytelling. Show the journey, show the problems along the way, and right at the very end, show the resolution. And this channel makes very similar videos every time, with almost identical structure and challenges, because it works. The retention on these videos will be very high, because they now have an audience who are expecting something familiar that they know they're going to enjoy. It's a binge watching effect. So when you find a style of short that works for you, make more of them. In a strange way, this content is also quite relatable. We all have a competitive nature with friends and family, and we like to see ourselves in the content that we watch. Even showing awkward or embarrassing scenes can make it feel more real, building a stronger connection with your viewers. But you also need to bear in mind that as soon as your viewers get what they want, they're gonna swipe away. If you hook them in with an amazing sounding recipe, they're gonna leave as soon as they have all of the ingredients and the instructions. So don't give them everything up front, which is again why you need to try and build that hook sandwich and avoid using an outro. A really easy way to make your videos more engaging is by adding background music. Adding the correct track with the right tone can help your videos feel more dynamic, it can help build tension or make your video funnier. It's also a great idea to use multiple different music tracks, changing up the tempo and style for different moments. You can also try stopping the music at specific points to highlight a certain moment. And music is just one way to create emotion. If you make videos that really inspire people, or make people laugh, then you will get better retention. But you also need to make sure that your spoken audio is very clear. If people can't understand what's being said in your video, then they're gonna stop watching. And make sure that your audio is correctly balanced in your edit and not being drowned out by music or sound effects. But if your audio does have a lot of background noise, then you can use Veed's AI Clean Audio tool and make sure you add those subtitles to aid understanding. It's also essential to understand where your shorts are going wrong. In your analytics, you can see an entire graph that tells you when people stop watching. So by finding out when and why people are leaving your videos, you can stop making the same mistakes. YouTube also recently added this feature called how many choose to view, which just goes to show that content that people don't swipe away from will most 
slightly perform better than content that does. So fix your intros. And once again, if you get views on a certain style of short, make more of the same. They can even have almost identical titles. If people want the content, they will watch more of it and that will boost your retention. Now, boosting retention is one thing, but you also need to make the right kind of shorts for your channel. So if you want some ideas for what shorts you should make next, you need to check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.